they certainly could be right. You know, um, I'd rather not dive into that pool. Actually, I'm not sure there's any water in it anyway. <laughs> God. So that's that. Yeah, I, I understand you're not doing as much of it. I don't. Uh, I can't. It kills me to say how many years I've gone without doing a play. Um, but it's been a, a long time. A long time. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've been in the industry for six years, and most of uh-huh. it's been in voice acting and radio. And probably for two years, I've done theater, and on and off, you know. And <laughs> it just changed, you, you know. It just. I didn't find it really uh, enjoyable anymore. And when you don't find it enjoyable, you know, that's, you got to. It's a sign to move on. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, you're right. You're right. And again, um, it's such a collaborative that it could be wonderful on one occasion and on another, a nightmare. Um, And I think that rather than, People don't deal with it that much anymore because the, the payoff isn't there. I mean, you're having a really hard time with the director, but you you suck it up and just go along with it, you know, and, and treat him respectfully. Uh, so maybe that doesn't work, you know. And maybe it used to work, but it doesn't anymore. And people people in L.A. use theater as a way of being seen to get out of the work, mm-hmm. you know. So that's another reality you have to deal with. Uh, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I, I except get right back to you, you got to love it or get out. <laughs> yeah. You, only because you'll make yourself crazy. Um, you know, I look at Robin Williams and I think, my Lord. Oh, yeah. Commit- yeah, thematically, one of the most gifted people that we've ever produced. He's sensational, and yet, look what happened, you know? Mm-hmm. Very sad. Yeah, it makes you wonder if the actors are truly happy, you know, or just... Oh, yeah, or, or the through comics, stand-up comics into that same category, mm-hmm. you know, and... Uh, how miserable are they? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nose diving this interview here. Um, oh no, I'm enjoying it, you know. <laughs> oh good, I'm glad. I just don't want to seem too negative. But, you know, it's... I, I did a cartoon show for a year. Uh, and in it, in the cast, was... And it was my... My, my first, actually, my, my very first dealing with animation, that was maybe my second audition, and then this job happened. And uh, her, her, well, I think she knows who she is. Mm-hmm. She, wildly talented, unbelievably talented. Uh, and uh, I will, I mean, there's a, a couple out here that have a, uh, a web series they do interviews. It's very similar to this. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, she was a, a guest that I mean, it may even have been a two-parter. Or a, I think it was a one-parter for like one hour. And uh, she performed as well as she was interviewed. She balanced beautifully. Um, letting them know by watching just how talented she really is, which is, again, amazing. Mm-hmm. And I thought, and we talked, you know, because I think it was 20 shows, 20 episodes, and uh, you get to know where you don't anywhere else. You get to know your, your co-workers in yeah. a situation like that. And... Uh, the, the, the woman that I know, as opposed to 
what she did on that show was astounding. It was very different. Mm -hmm. But she knew exactly what she was doing, why she was doing it, and she executed it beautifully. And, and it drew me in. It absolutely drew me in. Um, so to work with, uh, here's a woman who's, her agent went and got her, she's Canadian, mm -hmm. and legalized her here. And uh, the rest is one success story after another. Um, but she had uh, her personal, seemingly her personal life balanced with her career. One of the healthiest people I've ever known in our business. Um, and that was, that was pretty terrific that I got to spend time with, with her and learn from her. Yeah. Yeah, that, it's amazing when you learn from other actors, you know, and you keep learning, you know, there's always room to yeah. learn. Absolutely, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> My next question to you is, do you... Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any upcoming uh, projects in voice acting or anything? Well, that's an easy one. <laughs> No, I don't. Oh, you know, it, I had I had uh, some auditions in the last two weeks, and uh, they were uh, animation and video game. And who knows? You know, maybe one of those will turn into a gig. Um, mm -hmm. You just don't know, and you can't. I got to follow my own advice and and uh, forget about it. You know. It's kind of hard because one of them is something I would uh, give my left arm to do. Yeah. But again, as we've been discussing it, I got to say, yeah, that's great. Well, I hope you get it. If I don't, so what? I will survive. Um, it's, you know, like, you don't want to get into politics. Kinda, you, you notice how, how unavoidable it is? Mm -hmm. The last year or two? Jeez. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Yeah. yeah it's... So, you know, so the answer to your question is no, I don't. I, nothing specific yeah. uh, on the horizon at all. Um, at all. <laughs> Not even an audio book. And I've done a, a, quite a few of those. Oh, yeah. Um, and now, see, I missed that. That's... That's the worst paying work in, in our whole business. And yet, I never feel better or, better or more alive than doing an audiobook. Uh, and especially if it's an important book. Mm -hmm. uh, a book that stimulates people to think about stuff. Um, I love it. I really love it. Um, maybe when you can get a chance to do a book like Columbine. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. And every, uh, see, uh, every job I had, it seems, my entire career was for a, almost inevitably a bestseller. Uh, and the better the writing, the more fun it is to do. Uh, so, yeah, maybe that, maybe somebody, what usually happens in that area, some, you pick up the phone and someone says, hi, I'm blah, 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 would you like to do blah, blah, blah? And you ask a few questions and she sends you the book and you read it and you go, God, I would love to do this. And that's how it happens. But that's changed now, again, because of the sheer numbers. There's such an increase in the amount of people who try to do audio books but don't do very well. Mm -hmm. um, but then the next question is, does it matter? Uh, does anyone care? Um, do they just want to get the book done? Um, of course, they could hire somebody at half my rate to do it. Um, so who knows? It, it, you know, where every, every one of our our subjects here are all pointing in the same direction. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're very interesting. Maybe not 
uh, terrific <laughs> or, or what you'd want, but nonetheless interesting. Yowza. <laughs> well, it is what I want, you know, because every interview I've done, you you know, it's you won't get the same answer. Well, you will, but it's a different route to the answer. You know what I, I you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. So, what's theater like in Alabama? <laughs> well, I'm from Louisiana, so I've done a little bit of theater there. Uh, mostly high school stuff, you know, school, you know. Uh-huh. And then moved to Mississippi, and I'm close to a city in Alabama that does a little bit of it, too. And uh, that was interesting, you know, it's like a community theater, and... Uh, that was interesting, and I've done a few plays in high school. You know, one was a Shakespeare play. I thought I was going to die because, you know, Shakespeare is very mm. <laughs> difficult. And uh, Yes. It doesn't have to be, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's another language. Oh, yeah. Definitely that, yeah. This is scares the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a little on this. No respect for Mr. Will. (laughs) Yeah. Well, my Holly, Mm -hmm. who you're you're going to interview? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll interview her on the 31st. Yep. Yeah, she's from Louisiana. You'll find that out quickly. Mm -hmm. From Shreveport. Mm hmm. Have her talk about what she had, what role she had in Alice in Wonderland. Kim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> good, very good stuff. Wonder, you seen the movie? Mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'll let her tell you the story, not me. I'm going to ruin it for her, <laughs> so she will. She will. Yeah. Well, my last question to you, yeah. and I know we discussed a little bit, well, not a little, but a lot about it, is do you have any more pieces of advice for people who want to get into the crazy world of acting? <laughs> the crazy industry. Do you have any other pieces of advice? Hello? I lost you there. Repeat that, please. Okay. okay. My last question is... Yeah. And I know we talked a lot about this. Do you have any other pieces of advice for people who want to get in the industry? Um, don't say no to anything. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as it's moral. Um, say yes as much as you possibly can. Uh, go, to a, go to a good acting class. Ask people you know if they possibly know anybody that's interested in acting and is studying with a teacher. Um, Because no matter, I mean, it's hard to believe, but the two most, God, this is so strange. There's a couple of very important things that acting is dependent, good acting is dependent on. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them is listening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very, you don't see a lot of real good listening work going on. And the other thing is breathing. Um, I don't think anything else has to be said about that one. Uh, How often people suck it in and never let it out. And of course, there's no emotional real life in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, And in general, this is 